Hello all, welcome to another quick learning. Today we're going back to code signal to work on the database SQL coding exercises. Uh, if you're joining this from the middle of the playlist, I'll go ahead and put a link down below so you can start from the beginning if you wish. Otherwise, I'm going to go ahead and get started. So I'm going to go to the arcade. I'm going to go to databases. And then we left off in this new section, Time for Tricks, number 24. So if you see this, this means you just have to fill in this one section and it actually won't let you edit the rest of it. Um, so we'll put in the missing code here. Uh, you've been dreaming about becoming a, a famous hacker all of your life, and now it's time to make your dreams come true. You decided to start by finding a website that has some vulnerability, and you just found a doozy. This particular website has an open database users that contains information about the people using it. What's more, it stores the query performed on this table on the client side, which makes it super simple to hack them. The user table contains the following columns. So you got the ID, login, name, type, which can be uh, user, admin, or moderate. Uh, the query you have access to gathers some information about the users who have the user to type. You don't want to get caught, so you want to carefully update it so that the query you will, will return records of all existing types. Uh, your task is to update the existing query. You know, you should add something to the query, but don't rewrite it. Okay. So this is the users table. We have a uh, user, and then we have admin, and then uh, the existing query does this. It just returns the users. So these three here, the first two and the fifth one. And what they want is to update the query so it returns everything. So you just got to update this one section here. So if something is of type user, we want what do the other ones have? So we need an or, um, and then we'll do or type, and then we'll do uh, not equal to. So bang equal is not equal to. Um, in Oracle or other things, you might see it as this is not equal to. Uh, but we'll do that, and then we'll do not equal to user. We'll run the test. So these two in combination represents the set of all possible rows, because everything's either a user or not a user. So that fulfills the requirements. So that was a pretty simple one. Hope you guys are able to follow along with that. And I'll be continuing to do videos, so I hope you guys join me uh, for the other videos. Thank you very much.